What's going on YouTube? Geos right here. Today we're discussing about iOS downgrades, upgrades, and the best version to be on if you want the jailbreak, and also something that you should definitely do right now because the time is running out. You're probably aware about iOS delay OTA, which allows you to jump from a version to another, even if the version is no longer signed. Delay OTA is essentially using the enterprise part of iOS, which still allows you to upgrade to some iOS versions long after they've been unsigned, but only for about three months. And the time is running out for the best versions. Now, if you go ahead here on my website, there's this guide how to use iOS delay OTA profiles and install unsigned iOS versions. And all the way down there should be a table with the current profiles and of course when they expire. Because even delay OTA has some expiration date. Now you can see that iOS 17.5.1 is still signed as delay OTA. But if you go here to current iOS signing status, you can see that iOS 17.5.1 has long been unsigned. Heck, even iOS 17.6 is no longer signed. However, you do still have them signed over here. That means you can still upgrade to this version using delay OTA. Well, you should go to iOS 17.5.1 as soon as you can if you're running a ridiculously old iOS version that doesn't have any app support anymore. If you want to jailbreak in the future, jumping to iOS 17.5.1 is the best thing you could do. Do not update to whatever is signed at the moment, which is 17.6.1. Both iOS 17.6.1 and iOS 17.6 backport some changes from iOS 18 beta that makes jailbreaking and even troll store a lot harder. So definitely not recommended. iOS 17.5.1 would be the last version to not have those changes, but still be available in delay OTA. You still have some time, but that time is running out. iOS 17.5 was signed until yesterday when it expired. There is currently no jailbreak for iOS 17.5.1 on the newer devices. However, even if you're going to be without a jailbreak for a couple of months, it's still better to go essentially on a version that could be jailbroken much easier than whatever is after that. Because eventually you will have to update from whatever iOS 12 you have at the moment. And when you do, iOS 17.5.1 will no longer be signed and you will be forced to jump to something that already has the iOS 18 changes, which makes it even harder for a jailbreak to come for your device. So iOS 17.5.1 is the best you could do right now. For those of you who are on a lower version of iOS 17, definitely do not upgrade. It's always the same thing. Do not update, do not upgrade. It's it's not necessary and you only make your situation worse. Step, thank you for watching. I am GS Now, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.